Hi, I'm Dave Mason. I'm in uh, commercial sales here at Cook Shack, and we're here today to talk about the charbroilers that we use. Uh, these are all 100% wood-fired pellet charbroilers. Uh, basically, uh, if you uh, order one of these from us, it comes on a pallet with 20, 200 pounds of pellets, and you will need either a forklift or a lift gate or some way to offload these off of the truck. And when these things are offloaded, I'd like to let people know that uh, you need to remove all the packaging. Don't necessarily need to get it off the pallet, but remove all the packaging and uh, inspect it for damage before you sign the paperwork that the truck driver has. Once you've unloaded your uh, charbroiler and you're ready to check it out and put it, things together in there, you, it has some items that should come with it. It should have 10 bags of 100% uh, food grade pellets from Cook Shack in there. There should be a, a charbroiler owner's manual. There will be four heavy grates on this model. Larger models have more. And there will also be two heat deflectors. And that's all the separate parts we have with this. When you uh, uncrate your Cook Shack charbroiler, you'll need to uh, plan a location for it. And as far as putting this uh, charbroiler indoors, it's a solid fuel open flame unit, so you'll need a Type 1 hood with fire suppression. And if you're putting it outside, you'll need the, the lid on there to meet health standards. Uh, it's good to consult your local fire marshal uh, when you're planning on purchasing a piece of equipment like this just to make sure what the local codes say. After you've uncrated your charbroiler and you've got the, the grates in place, you'll need to season the grates. So basically what we do is we recommend that you coat uh, both sides of the grates first time with some type of cooking oil. Uh, it can be your choice as long as it's a good cooking oil that you use. Um, then after you've used it, you'll need to recoat that once or twice again just to make sure that these are good and seasoned. Uh, we need to add pellets to the hopper. I'm going to do that right now. Once we've got all these things done, the pellets loaded and the grills seasoned, you'll need to plug this into a regular 120 plug and we'll be ready to start. We're ready to start cooking now. So the first thing you do on the charbroiler is you turn on the master switch and each side has its own controller so you can run each side at different temperatures. But what you do is you push on and then you move the indicator till the low light is on. You do that on both sides and then you hit ignite and that starts the pellets to uh, getting to burning and it'll take about 15 to 20 minutes to bring it up to temperature. Your igniter will stay on for approximately 10 minutes uh, until the flame gets going then it shuts off, saves on energy. Uh, if you happen to not get it to start the first time just uh, hit restart and it should fire up. I t start these things on low and then I move them up to medium or high from there. Okay, we're going to walk through the process of maintaining the uh, charbroiler and first thing we're going to do is uh, take a shop vac and vacuum out the fire pots. As far as maintenance, uh, in addition to vacuuming out the fire pots with the ash at, uh, before each use, uh, another thing that you need to do is clean out the drip, drip tray water pan. That is located down here. The entire bottom of the uh, charbroiler is covered by this pan and it catches all the drippings and also the ashes. Uh, so it's also made so that you can add water to it to add moisture to your heat while you're cooking and also it will help with any kind of flare-ups of grease or anything like that. But if you clean it regularly, you shouldn't have any flare-ups. The last thing we want to cover is the pellet hopper. Uh, you dump pellets in here and uh, about once a week it's a good idea to let the pellet hopper run low and uh, towards the end of the shift and that way you can vacuum out the remnants of the bags because some of the bags have some sawdust in them and if you let too much sawdust build up down at the bottom it's not going to burn as evenly as the pellets. You may have an inconsistent heat problem. So we recommend vacuuming this out about once a week and cleaning it completely out. Well, that was just a little bit of information about our charbroilers. Uh, this happens to be our 24-inch charbroiler. It's our small version of it. We also make a 36-inch and a 48-inch. Uh, the 36-inch has lid available, and the 48 has a lid or split lids available for it. You can find out more about these charbroilers at uh, cookshack.com, or you can call at 1-800-423-0698, and we'll tell you all about them.